Hey guys, it's your girl Miss T. You know that's me, and I'm officially back. I was in California for the last few days, so that's why you haven't been seeing me on here. But I couldn't miss our NXT recap. This is your NXT recap for May 21st, 2024. I know you guys missed me, so we're back with some more news and everything that happened on NXT last night. But before anything, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so you can stay up to date with all the episodes, the recaps, and so much much more and let's jump into this one first things first nxt started with thea hale versus fallon henley now i told you last week that i thought this could go either way thea hale always has momentum but fallon henley is where it's at she ended up winning this match and later we saw her in a segment with jasmine nix and talking about jasmine jasmine attacked thea hale after fallon's victory and i think it had fallon feeling some type of way after Jasmine Nix attacked Thea Hale, Fallon Henley and her were seen talking backstage. I got a sense of guilt from Fallon Henley because Jasmine pretty much told her, thanks for beating up Thea and I like this new attitude. I knew you could do it on your own and I had to take advantage. So Thea Hale really got attacked because Fallon Henley defeated her. I don't know. I got a sense of guilt from Fallon. Fallon as a heel, I like, but I don't know if it's going to last too long. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments now i told you guys last week my girl jada parker was gonna be making her way into vegas and she did just that listen she had an awesome match against brinley reese but i told you she was gonna secure this one in the bag and she did i can't wait to see her in vegas and it's gonna be amazing so lexus king was scheduled for a match and we didn't know against who mr stone came out and introduced somebody and we were waiting the answer Participation was kind of crazy and it turned out to be Dante Chen so if you don't know who Dante Chen is he has made an appearance before many appearances to be exact on NXT level up and even on the main roster this guy every time I see him I know he's gonna lose sometimes he doesn't even get an entrance so for Mr. Stone to build up anticipation for Dante Chen it tells me it's time to take him seriously he had an amazing match against Lexus King really showed out i think it's interesting to see mr stone with dante i don't know if that's going to be a thing but for the time being it was pretty good dante chen got the victory over lexus king and i'm excited to see how wwe turns things around for him so trick williams was calling out metaphor and this weird behavior we've been seeing from noel dar however gallus came to attack him luckily Javon Evans came to help out Trick Williams and it looks like next week we're going to be getting Javon Evans and Trick Williams as a tag team versus Gallus a match I'm looking forward to seeing Javon Evans has a lot of potential and a bright future in NXT and in WWE and it's nice to see him team up with the NXT champion Trick Williams it's a match I'm going to be looking forward to next Tuesday another awesome match that happened on NXT is between these three guys right here you know the chaos that happened last week with Ivar, Wesley, Gallus, Josh Briggs. It was a crazy way to end last week's episode. They had a pretty solid match on NXT. And if you're wondering where Ivar is at, he is reportedly injured. Nathan Frazier and Axiom also retained on Tuesday night NXT. Now, this is pretty predictable. I don't see these tag titles leaving these guys anytime soon. I wonder who's really going to step up next or who's going to take these titles away from them. You guys know they defeated Braun Breaker and Corbin. Therefore, I don't really see these guys losing it right now, but they're still putting on great matches and they ju did just that on NXT. Now, I I told you I was really excited for the tag team match scheduled for the main event. Shayna Baszler and Lola Vice were seen getting ready. And let me tell you, I am loving this. Lola Vice loves to dance and loves to kick butt. And Shayna Baszler told her backstage, uh, let's leave the dancing backstage. Let's try to get business done. Natty and Carmen looked amazing. I love these attires to get ready for that main event. And when I tell you the match was even better, it was so good. And I told you guys, this is a feud that isn't really getting spoken about, but I have been enjoying every minute of it, but it got so much better later on. By the way, Natalia ended up putting her shades on Vic Joseph. This was a nice little touch. You know, she's always paying tribute to Bret Hart. 
court and you'll love to see the representation of the Hart family. Natalia's contract is allegedly almost up with WWE. Now this is the talk of the conversation. Do you think Natalia is going to stay with WWE? Let me know down in the comments because there are rumors that maybe she'll go to TNA or maybe a, another wrestling promotion will make an offer. Would you like to see Natty maybe go to TNA or stay in WWE? We know she's an incredible veteran with still so much experience to offer. Let me know down in the comments. And as I told you, the match was pretty good. Carmen and Natty ended up picking the win, but the true feud begins with Lola Vice and Shayna Baszler. Lola Vice ended up turning on Shayna Baszler, but there's more. So let me walk you through this one. Lola Vice ended up super kicking Shayna Baszler down to the ground, but the most bizarre thing happened next. She then twerked and shake butt in front of Shayna Baszler. Like the disrespect was so crazy, but you know this Latina is always ready to have a good time after defeating her opponent. In this case, her former tag team friend. This has been so crazy, but it gets even crazier. So just when Lola Vice thought she had her moment of shine, she was dancing away. Shayna Baszler got up and she was ready to terrorize this woman. And she did just that. She was ready to take the air out of the windpipe of Lola Vice. This was absolute chaos. Referees had to come in. Everybody had to step in to try to separate these women. And Ava, the general manager of NXT, came out here and said, you know what? We're booking you guys for Las Vegas. You can settle it in the ring. Here's what to expect at NXT Battleground. We are going to get Lola Vice versus Shayna Baszler. And you already know this is going to be insane. We are going to where UFC is being held for NXT Battleground. So these girls have that MMA background. I'm excited to see if any of that will be incorporated in their match. But wow, wow, wow. I am so here for this. And this is a major match for Lola Vice. A great match for Shayna Baszler as a veteran. Just continuing to... to stay relevant this is chef's kiss so here's what to expect for next week we are gonna get sexy red on nxt yes you heard that right listen i don't know what they're gonna do with sexy red but i am excited to see her um next tuesday because she is allegedly a big fan and so i'm trying to see what segment they put her in i'm kind of leaning towards maybe they throw her in with the trick williams metaphor storyline but i could be mistaken i'm excited for sexy red and i'm excited to see what wwe does with her next tuesday we're also going to find out who's going to go up against roxanne perez for her title now whoever it is i don't think roxanne is losing this title just yet i have her maybe losing it at heat wave there's rumors Julia might go up against her. I don't know, but we are going to find out next week who is taking on Roxy. Who do you think should be that woman to get an opportunity like this? Let me know down in the comments. And have you been enjoying Roxanne Perez as an NXT champion? Yet again, you guys know this is her second time around. Do you like edgy heel Roxanne? Let me know because there's so many mixed feelings online. I got to say, I'm a fan of her. I've always been a fan of Roxanne Perez. And this is a new thing for her. And I'm giving giving it a lot of time and so far I've been enjoying it but let's see what the future holds so let's recap on what to expect for NXT Battleground in Las Vegas so far we know Oba Femi will be defending his North American title against Wes Lee and Joe Coffey I don't know man I have Oba Femi retaining I don't see him losing right now but this is going to be a solid match in addition to that this is what we know so far about the North American scene for the women these women right here are going to be competing Sol Ruka Fallon Henley Lash Legend and Jada Parker. There are still two qualifying matches that are going to happen next Tuesday. Kalani Jordan is who I'm thinking is going to slide into this match. And there's also a qualifiers match between Tatum Paxley and Meechin. So many fans want Meechin to be included in this match, which I think there's a high chance of that happening. But Tatum Paxley, come on. I feel like this is the perfect opportunity for her. I'm hoping it's Kalani Jordan and Tatum Paxley moving into this match.
that. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this NXT recap. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so you can stay up to date with all the recaps, the episodes, and so much more. And remember, if you guys want to watch with me the weekly shows, whether it's NXT, Monday Night Raw, and SmackDown, head over to my Twitch channel where I watch these shows live with you. And that link will be down in the description below. So you already know, until next time, uh, deuces.